Hey, I'm Gerdley, I'm on Futurist. I'm in the Gerdley Airport preparing for my live event on June 12th, 6 p.m. on digital labor. I'm doing a lot of research on the cognitive capability of AI systems. Can AI systems do the human work? And if so, what does it mean? What's going to happen to our jobs? What's going to happen to our lives? What's going to happen to the internet? AI is the next version of the internet, not based on search, but on intelligence. So here's a short preview of what I'm going to discuss on June 12th. First, digital labor performs autonomous cognitive work. This is important. Autonomous in the sense of it knows what to do by itself. It dramatically accelerates economic output. This will be so tempting for companies to use digital labor. It's intangible, non-physical, of course. So this is about data, about information, codes, content. It's not physical action yet, but of course, agency systems are looking to do that as well. And of course, humanoid robots, the outputs of digital labor are insights, decisions, foresights. This is where it got scary for me. Okay, yes, foresights. Yeah, if the output is foresight, oh yeah, that's all what I do. <laughs> Unprecedented scalability. It's possible to basically just add a little bit more ohms on, on the processing side. In non-virals, what it means, what it means that as we use it, it does not become more scarce. Rivalists would be, for example, physical goods or food or things like that. So this is really quite different. It's non rival is good. It's uh, leading to compound new productivity gains. So as it accelerates, it will compound in the turn. That will be virtually unresistible for many companies, but it may lead to sudden depreciation of oxidants. For example, if the data is old or data becomes corrupted or algorithmic advances take place, it may just fall apart. But its relationship with human labor is complicated because it's not just one is set in all of us, it can be elastic in nuance. So for my job, it would be little, for somebody else's job, it would mean a lot, 90% automation. It could be about augmentation, it could be automation, cognification. This leads to a bunch of really interesting scenarios. Some are good, some are dark, and I look forward to having you there. You can join on YouTube, my YouTube channel is jordcube.com, and of course you can join on LinkedIn, I'll put the links underneath this and I hope to see you next week, June 12th at 6 p.m. CET, 9 a.m. Telephone time, 12 noon East Coast, and that would be 8.30 p.m. in India. I'd see you there for the future of AI, digital labor, work and jobs. Thanks.